Hello, today is my last video about marriage, or at least the one, the last one I plan on doing for a while. So let's talk about my last few thoughts. All right, so my first one is kind of a warning. Um, my first thought today, and it's watch out for the marriage books, um, which I guess this is a little bit that way I'm giving you marriage advice, but I read a lot of those marriage books in the first few years, and honestly, I feel like they made things worse. They did not help because they kind of tell you, here's what you should do and this is what will happen. And that's not always guaranteed. And that only works if you're talking about these specific people. Um, everyone is different. And so like doing certain things for my husband that maybe the book says, isn't going to necessarily make him feel the way the book says it'll make him feel. And him doing certain things for me doesn't always make me feel the way the book said it should make me feel. Or we don't necessarily even want what the book says that we should want. So um, we're all different. And just like my videos here, I can only tell you things through my experience. And honestly, most of those marriage books are only going to share kind of what worked for them and who they are or generalized. So, I mean, if you are not like a very typical man and woman, they may just not apply to you because they're kind of like, these are typical responses. And I feel like most of us just aren't typical, but not that you can't read them. Um, you can read them, but take them kind of with, uh, with a grain of salt and realize, I mean, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work. I personally found like most of them were just a waste of my time. And most of the people I know who are super big into those books, their marriages do not, um, last. So I don't know. The best thing I have for you to do is instead of trying to learn about your spouse through a book, learn about your spouse through your spouse. Become a student of your spouse. Learn who they are, what makes them tick, and how you can fit into that. Um, that is going to be your best bet, I feel like, is getting to know each other better than you know anyone else or anything else. And no book is going to help you know them. Um, there, One book I did find somewhat helpful was uh, The Five Love Languages. And I will say, I do not feel like my husband really fits any one of those categories. Um, but it was interesting to see the different love languages and how it makes different people feel. And honestly, I learned a lot about myself by reading that book that I did not fully understand about myself before, which helped me then kind of share with my husband what I needed from him. So that is the only marriage book that I read back in the days that I found somewhat helpful, but it wasn't even helpful in how to learn him. It really helped me understand me, um, which then helped things overall. But he, he just, yeah, he doesn't fit any um, stereotype. So I don't know, <laughs> but uh, he's one of a kind. Uh, so yes, be careful of all the books. They, they love to write them, but they're not always helpful. Um, let's move on to my second point. My second thought for today is you are going to have fights, but use those fights to learn about each other and eventually have fewer to no fights the longer you're married. The longer we have been married, the less and less we fight. Um, and I think that is because when we were dating and in those first few years that we were married, we actually argued often. I am the kind of person that does not like leaving things alone. I like to resolve issues. So if I'm upset about something or I don't like the way something's going, it's really hard for me just to be like, eh, I'm just gonna brush that under the rug and go on. I wanna sit there and hash it out until I fix the problem. This could be a good thing and it can be a bad thing because it makes it really hard for me to let things go. And sometimes the other person needs you to just let things go and cool off before you can approach the topic again. 
and I don't like to do that. I want everything resolved and wrapped up and done before I walk away from the conversation. And that's just not always possible. Um, the good side of this though, is while we were dating and when we were first married, I, I didn't let anything go. And so whenever we did have issues, whether it was me an issue with him or him an issue with me, I wanted to sit there and hash it out until we fixed it. I wanted the issue gone and like gone for good, not just forgotten for the moment. Um, and this actually caused a lot of arguments because I was always pushing. And I am not saying go and push your husband into all these arguments. Like it, it was an enjoyable way and there was probably a better way to go about this. <laughs> but what I am saying is because a lot of the like maybe money issues or how we felt about certain things or what we wanted in life or just little things that a lot of newer married couples maybe kind of go, oh, but that's going to cause a fight. I'm just going to let it go. I wasn't afraid to approach that topic and be like, no, we're going to, we're going to deal with this. Um, and my husband's actually pretty, um, well, not pretty. He is strong-willed and a little bit the same in that aspect, not as much as me, but uh, he is more strong-willed than I am. But anyway, you put those two personalities together and we, we argued, but we figured things out. And now we really don't argue that much. I mean, I'm not going to say arguments never come up because they do occasionally, and I'm sure they will in the future as new life experiences come at us that maybe have never come at us before. But for the most part, little things like money or houses or life goals or how we're going to do certain things certain ways, we've kind of already argued through all of that and we're on the other side. So it's okay sometimes to disagree and figure out where you guys stand and come to a conclusion that works for you both. And this will sometimes cause arguments, especially if you have personalities like my husband and I do, and you're a little more bullheaded. Um, depending on your personality, you may be able to sit down and discuss this through and not have any issues. Or if you are a little more mature than what we were, and then you can maybe sit down and talk all these through. Um, that is another thing. We kind of grew up together. So um, in those early years, we just were not as mature as we are now. And so the way we would approach these topics was just more argumentative than the way we approach them now. Um, we're able to approach these topics now in a more adult-like manner and talk them through instead of arguing. But uh, if you are getting married younger and you're just not as old old as I am, um, you may not be there yet. And that's okay. I, that's, that's part of life. We mature, or at least we're supposed to <laughs> mature as we get older. And sometimes it takes that immature arguing to learn the maturity to not. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. My whole point is basically just if you are arguing, as long as it's nothing major, if, if you are having little spats and arguments to figure things out, it's okay. Um, it'll be okay. Yes, you can try and figure out a way to discuss these things that won't cause arguing. But if there is anything, if you are still figuring out the answers though, it's okay because you will get through on the other side and you'll have the answers and the arguments will also get less. So don't lose heart just because you seem to be bickering a lot in those early years or even some dating years. Although if you're arguing a lot when you're dating, I would take a serious look at your relationship because you are not married yet. So you are not, you are not bound to this person. So if you just aren't getting along, now is the time to maybe be like, do I even want this? Um, but yes, it is okay if you have some arguments, use them as learning experiences, figure out how you can resolve your issues, where you both stand on them, what is the common ground you're going to stand on, and get through it. All right, that is my advice today. I hope that made sense. I feel like I just told everyone to go argue. Um, that is really not what I was meaning, but it's okay if you do because sometimes that happens. But I will see you all in my next video. 